I trace the graph with a pencil, I don't lift it up. But let's explain this using calculus. Here's a heads up. There are three ways, three ways to show that a point is continuous. Three ways, three ways to know that you will ace this on the test. If you are proving continuity, you need to prove all three. If you are proving against, disprove one for victory. Step one, f of x must exist. First check for holes. If you find an unfilled one, stop here, you are done. Next check for asymptotes. If you see any, it's over. If none of the above, move to step two. There are three ways, three ways to show that a point is continuous. Three ways, three ways to know that you will ace this on the test. If you are proving continuity, you need to get all three. If you are against disprove, one for victory. Step two, check to see if the limit at that point exists. Approach from the left and the right. The y values must be alike if they are not. Continuity is out of the question now, else go to the final step. There are three ways, three ways to show that a point is continuous. Three ways, three ways to know that you will ace this on the test. If you are proving continuity, you need to prove all three. If you are proving against, disprove one for victory. Step three, compare your answers from step one and two. Are they both the same? If they are great, you're mathematically proven the continuity trait. If it's not, this trait is not in fate. There are three ways, three ways to show that a point is continuous. Three ways, three ways to know that you will lace this on the test. If you are proving continuity, you need to get all three. If you are proving against, disprove one for victory.